Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for the uh, Tuesday's trading session, 5th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's quickly give you a rundown into US uh, equities in terms of the stats thus far. Uh, US equities certainly taking a turn for the worst after our having uh, gapped up and moving higher quite substantially, especially at NASDAQ although the S&P certainly has remained subdued. Uh, the uh, stats at the moment are at present. You have the uh, Dow uh, languishing now down to 24,230. Dow certainly is under pressure. You have the S&P 500 now down, and the NASDAQ certainly is holding in there at present. Let's see if that can last, okay? In terms of economic data today, let's just quickly go for US data for you. Uh, trade balance certainly came in negative, okay? So, so much for Mr. Trump's so-called uh, turning around the uh, potential deficit. It certainly stands, okay. Uh, in terms of the Red Book Index, certainly came in weaker than expected as well. So again, everything is weaker dollar so far, okay. Uh, market Services PMI also came in weaker as well. ISM came in weaker as well. And uh, Economic Optimism certainly came in weaker as well. So everything coming on the weaker side. Uh, the only thing that's certainly helping the, uh, the markets at present is the um, situation with regards to uh, uh, the Euro, USD at the moment. So dollar is certainly pushing higher. Uh, and certainly helping European equities to a large extent. Let's see if that can continue. Okay, let's quickly go through the uh, technical picture now that we've covered the uh, fundamentals. Let's look at the Dow. Dow, obviously, after yesterday's bearish engulfing, you can see we close the gap now. Uh, Dow on the daily chart certainly is looking weak at, at present. The 60-minute chart certainly is holding to gap fill, so certainly has been holding gap fill. You have this diagonal trend line. You've got Fib 50 and 61% certainly to hold. If that were to go, then obviously you are looking at support around the 24,100. So keep an eye on the Dow there. 10-minute uh, chart certainly is signaling that gap fill certainly is holding thus far. Let's see if we hold that. Certainly are expected to. Okay, nevertheless, that's the status quo. Okay, let's move on to the Dow Transports. Dow Transports bearish engulfing candle after yesterday's topping tail. So certainly a warning signal given the fact that uh, a lot of the uh, the actual uh, rally itself certainly has been priced into the market. So sell the news type event with the uh, we see the, uh, the the initial bill certainly passing through congress over the weekend certainly helping your uh, u.s equities to a large extent okay uh, daily chart certainly isn't looking very healthy that's all i can say for now especially on the dow transportation index in terms of the s p 500 let's move over to the s p now daily chart on the s p 500 certainly continuing we had this uh, sell-off on the uh, flynn news Again, that was negated on the tax news, uh, tax reform making progress over the weekend. And ever since then, it certainly has been sell the uh, the rally or sell it into the rally uh, thus far. 60-minute chart on the S&P 500 certainly isn't looking healthy at the moment either. We did actually make a new high, but it has been rejected thus far. Again, you are going to see support into the gap for region at 26. 26 is the uh, area to watch out for. In terms of the 10-minute chart, we're certainly holding support now. We've closed that gap at uh, 26.40. And we are now testing support around the 2633 zone on the S&P. Now, one of the factors at play at the moment is the uh, weakness in copper. Copper price is certainly hurting the uh, the actual uh, commodities market at present. Let's see if that can continue. Okay. In terms of the <clears throat> cross-referencing that with the Russell 2000, as always, as always, that's something that I constantly do when trading the S&P 500 daily chart. At, at present, you've certainly retested and closed the gap below. Retested the breakout as well. We've certainly held that. So one could only argue bullish at present. 60-minute chart at the moment. You, like I said, we've closed the gap below. Retested the breakout level. I can only conclude bullish. Okay, I can't conclude anything else at the moment on the Russell. Hence the reason why I'm certainly keeping my bias slightly bullish on the S&P at this juncture. Okay. Okay, now in terms of the NASDAQ, let's move over to the NASDAQ. Okay, NASDAQ 60-minute chart has an inverted head and shoulders formation, which I'm certainly keeping an eye out for. 10-minute chart at the moment is coming into support around that 6280 zone. Okay, 6280 after having held a double bottom at 6240, certainly looking for a potential bounce here. Okay, so again, looking for that inverted head and shoulders pattern to play out, potentially testing that 6380 zone once again on the, on the NASDAQ itself. So watch out there. Okay, so that's basically where we stand now. Let's quickly go through the uh, biotechs. Biotechs as well on the 10 minute chart. At the moment, we've certainly made a base here at gap fill. Looking for gap fill, certainly to hold. Certainly looking for a base here. Okay, uh, in terms of the uh, semicons. Okay, so keep an eye on them. 
uh, biotechs as well as we go to seven semiconductors if you have them here here we go semicom certainly coming into potential support around this zone now and you had gap fill here and gap fill here okay so this is a zone to watch out for for the uh, semiconductors uh, 60 minute chart certainly has bounced certainly bounced at this uh, juncture certainly looking for a, a pop now in terms of the nasdaq i've certainly taken a long position in the nasdaq looking for a bounce higher so watch out there uh, looking at the vix now daily chart the vix yesterday we did get a spike but it certainly has been sold off we got a spike up to gap fill and then obviously it reversed and the lower lows and lower highs certainly seem to be continuing as well there's using your pivot high from here to here gives the uh, pivot high from yesterday as well so certainly an argument there uh, to be made okay to a large extent to so watch out there okay so i think that certainly covered the uh, the basis there in terms of the market keep watching uh, the us dollar let's see if that can uh, continue and again it certainly seems given the fact that the dollar index certainly is into resistance as well so bear that in mind certainly something to factor into the equation okay well either way on that on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now